Answering the question of why commercial law is one that students dread most. The reason many people struggle when trying to answer it is most likely due to its open-ended nature. There seems to be an infinite number of ways in which you could approach the question. However, in this question, the law firms are trying to extract very specific pieces of information from you, which I'm going to reveal in this video. So today I'm going to explain what is meant by commercial law and why law firms are asking this question and the sort of things that they're expecting of you before giving a very simple guideline as to how I would approach the question if I was answering it today. Before you even write anything, it's important that you have a very clear understanding of what is actually meant by commercial law. After all, how can you demonstrate an unequivocal interest in commercial law and being a commercial lawyer if you don't actually know what is meant by the term and what a commercial lawyer would actually be doing in practice? Commercial law is any work a law firm will do within the city and will typically involve working on contracts, trusts, finance, banking, tax and so on. You would handle a range of corporate deals as a solicitor, each lasting between one and six months depending on the nature of the deal itself. And as a trainee, your role will be to create the first draft of documents, undertake due diligence, research technical issues, and help manage different aspects of transactions. If you want to find out a bit more about what commercial lawyers do, then I have put a really interesting article from Sherman and Sterling, which explains what trainee solicitors do in a commercial law context. So do check that out if you're interested. Your next task is to determine why you're being asked this question. Now, you've got to think about what are the reasons that the recruiter is wishing to understand your interest in commercial law. You need to put yourself in their shoes, have an understanding of the sort of knowledge that they're trying to extract from you, and then from that basis, you can start crafting a really good answer. And from my point of view, this is the most crucial part of answering this question. If you don't understand why you're being asked the question, you can't answer it correctly. So only once you understand why you're being asked the question, can you start constructing the perfect answer. Now, one of the key reasons why law firms ask this question is because they invest a lot of time and money in training individuals. You see, they don't want to waste loads and loads of money on funding your GDL or your LPC, which a lot of law firms will do, or you know, wasting a lot of their partner's time into training you or training other training solicitors, and then for all of that to go to waste, you know, this is primarily a question about motivation. Are you motivated to stick with commercial law for the long term? And if you don't demonstrate that motivation, then they're not going to be interested in keeping you and wanting you on board. In other words, you need to demonstrate that you have the ambition to pursue a career in law, a genuine passion for a legal career, and the attentiveness to find out why that particular law firm interests you. So when answering this question, it's absolutely crucial that you demonstrate a clear ambition to pursue a career in commercial law. One way you can do this is to demonstrate the range of legal experiences you have had over the past few years that have confirmed your interest in law. When you do this, try to actually demonstrate specific actions you took during your work experience and the results that you achieved and how that would be of benefit in a commercial law setting. For example, instead of just saying that you worked alongside the tax department and you did some interesting things, actually be specific about the things that you did and achieved. So for example, you could say that you were responsible for filling in the CT600 tax form and by doing this, you achieved X, Y, and Z for the firm. So you want to show a very clear interest in commercial law and a clear ambition for pursuing a career in commercial law too. And you can only do that by showing specific examples from previous legal experiences. Most people, when they answer this question about why commercial law, just end up regurgitating stuff from the firm's marketing material or from the firm's website. They have no real unique response to the answer. And you get answers which are like, I'm motivated to work for a um, a global commercial law firm that works alongside blue chip clients and so on and so forth. It just, it isn't very unique, it isn't very inspiring and doesn't demonstrate your underlying story either. You don't want to just show that you're proficient at using copy and paste, you want to show that you do have an interest in commercial law and it forms part of your underlying narrative of who you are and where you're going. Put another way, the plan is to tell your story and be genuine. What was that initial thing that sparked your interest in commercial law? And what are the steps since that spark that has led you to where you are today applying for this particular commercial law firm? 
This is the narrative that you want to build into your answer. Spend some time thinking about the initial trigger that set you along this path and the different steps you have taken to get to where you are today. Telling a compelling story about why commercial law is your calling is emotionally appealing for any recruiter and it shows them that they are the next logical step in your career plan. Furthermore, build upon how your skill set and character matches what the law firm is looking for. In other words, have a look for the specific competencies that the law firm looks for in their trainee solicitors. And you can find these on you know, their, their marketing material, on their brochure, on their website. You can find the competencies that the law firm wants from you. And you need to demonstrate this within the answer itself. Again, don't just cite these competencies into your answer, but actually build a picture of how your extracurricular interests and work experiences have enabled you to build up the skills necessary to be a great commercial lawyer. I found that some of the most effective and most powerful answers to this question usually incorporate some sort of background experience of building a long lasting relationship with a client. Maybe it's with a previous job you've had, maybe it's with running a startup that you've had, or it could be just about anything where you've built a relationship in a business context over time. So if you can try and thread that idea and that narrative into your answer, it's going to be a winning answer. Lastly, the law firm wants you to demonstrate why you're interested in commercial law from their point of view. And from the student's perspective, this is quite a difficult thing to realise because the open-ended nature of the actual question really makes them think that they have to have some sort of generic open-ended response to. However, at the end of the day, your job is to demonstrate that you're the correct fit for them and the best way to do this is to tailor the answer to them every single time. However, having said that, the question isn't asking you why you want to work for that particular firm. So do make sure that your answer is laser focused on the specific question, why commercial law? The best way I find to do this after demonstrating your general interest in commercial law and the career path of being a commercial lawyer is to highlight the specific things and the specific ways in which the law firm can help you develop as a commercial lawyer. For example, you could mention the structure of their training contract, their reputation in certain practice areas, or their ongoing learning or mentoring opportunities. By doing the correct research, you can demonstrate why you want to work as a commercial lawyer at their specific firm. So it's not just about asking why you want to be a commercial lawyer, it's about asking you why you want to be a commercial lawyer at Shearman and Sterling, or at Slaughter and May, or Hogan Lovells. Make sure it's tailored to that firm. So when it comes to answering this question, there's a very specific approach that I would take. The first thing that I would do is to write down and determine what was the thing that initially sparked my interest in commercial law and made me want to pursue this career path. So grab a piece of paper now and write this down at the top of the page. Your job from there is to create a chain of events that led you to where you are today, sending this application to this law firm. For example, it could be that your initial hook happened when you were starting your own business at the age of 14 and you had to write a variety of different contracts for clients and you noticed how important it was to get the contract right to ensure that your business kept making more money and you also didn't make any sort of errors of judgment which meant that your business went under. So from there you decided to get some work experience at a high street law firm and they introduced you into how contracts work in a more legal setting and you also noticed that contracts are fabulous ways to help businesses save money and from there you decided that potentially the banking and finance route would be more interesting for you so you pursue that option and so on and so forth and that eventually led you to, de to deciding to apply to Slaughter and May who are specialists in financial matters. So that's the sort of process that you could think of. Think about your initial hook, think about the steps that led you to applying to this law firm who you're applying for today. This step is all about knowing where you are in the big scheme of things and ensuring the law firm you're looking at is the logical next step in your story. The second step then in crafting the perfect answer to this question is to match competencies. On that same piece of paper, now write down all the experiences you've had over the past few years, whether that's non-law, law, unpaid or paid, and give each experience a skill or competency developed. For example, your part-time work as a bartender could demonstrate teamwork. Now, once you have this list of different experiences and competencies, 
go to the firm's website and find the specific competencies that they're looking from you. So go through them, they might say something like being having good attention to detail, having good teamwork, being entrepreneurial, uh, and so on and so forth. And try to match each of those competencies to the relevant experiences that you've had. And by doing so, you're going to have very relevant examples that you need to thread into your answer about why you want to work as a commercial lawyer at their firm. Finally, follow the specific structure that I mentioned before. So firstly, you want to demonstrate a clear ambition and motivation for working in commercial law as a commercial lawyer. And then secondly, you want to thread your story, thread your narrative into the answer to make it more emotionally compelling to the recruiter. And finally, don't forget to make sure your answer is very much focused on them and ensuring that your answer demonstrates why you want to work as a commercial lawyer at their law firm. If you're looking to become a commercial lawyer, at some point you are going to be asked this question. So to avoid being boring and bland like most students, it's crucial that you follow the steps that I outlined in this video. Now, if you're currently writing your own applications to law firms, then do make sure you check out my playlist on crafting the perfect law applications. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and if you have any video suggestions at all, then please leave a comment below and I'll get straight back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.